So this is my basketball output window for Huddle Sports Code. Now if you're familiar with this channel, you may have seen an output window like this before. However, I'm always adding things, always changing things, tinkering, so I want to point out those new features when I get to them. If you're new to the channel, well, you can see all the different parts of this window, the interactivity and all the things that it's capable of. So the context I'm using for this game is the Canterbury Rams versus the Otago Nuggets. Now these are two New Zealand National Basketball League teams, and I just have coded this game. If you want to see the code window that generated this timeline and all the data, there will be a link in the description. Now if it seems like a lot of data to you, it is, but it's you know generated pretty um, efficiently and you can usually finish coding a game about five minutes after it's finished. So that's the example we're going to use. Now there's three main parts to this output window. There's the box score, the position type breakdown, and then the shot charts. So I was going to go through each part. The first part we're going to go through is the box score. Now box scores are pretty standard in basketball, I'm sure you've all seen one. So what makes this box score different? Well, there's two things that I'd say make it unique. The first is the full video interactivity. So we've basically just got your usual stats. We've got field goals, two-point shooting, three-point shooting, free throws, rebounds, personal foul, turnover, assist, blocks, steal, and points. And those are pretty familiar stats. However, every single one of these boxes is linked to video. So I want to watch all of Singler's two-point attempts. I click that seven, and they'll pop up. I watch all of Taylor's, you know, three defensive rebounds. I just click that and they'll show up. So it makes, you know, reviewing a player's performance and quickly reviewing their clips really quick and really efficient. The second thing that makes this output window unique is the advanced stats. So we've got basic toggled now. If we click advanced, we're going to get a whole bunch of advanced stats. Now, we've got some ones you might be familiar with, such as true shooting percentage and effective field goal percentage. But beside that, we've got usage rate, three point rate free throw rate, different rebounding percentages, assist percentage. These three are new to the window, so these are different from the last version you may have seen. We've got points produced, offensive rating, and then defensive rating. I just want to highlight these different offensive and defensive rating buttons here. This is kind of a good example of how extreme scripting can get. So just for this one box here, for this one player, this is the sort of scripting you can get. So we get all the way down to these calculations, and you can see it gets pretty crazy. Now this is a lot more, this is a lot easier than it looks, it's just basically creating variables and then plugging them into formulas I found online, and at the end of the day we just get an uh, offensive rating. However, it's just a good example of how complex scripting can get, and then how, in, you know, in turn, how complex the stats you can collect are. So, we've got offensive rating, defensive rating, points, rebounds and assists per 40 minutes, uh, percentage, percentage of shots taken relative to the team, then points above replacement on defense, points above replacement on offense, and then plus minus. I don't believe these above replacement stats were here last time as well, so I'll quickly explain those. So these basically break down plus minus on a per possession basis for offense and defense. So ideally you have a positive offensive number and a negative defensive number. So we find a player who's got those, so we've got Bailey down here. So basically what, the, what this means is for Bailey, Every single position heals on the court, so per position, the Rams scored 0.25 points more per position. When he was on defense on the court, the opposition scored 0.17 points or less per position. So you want a really good offensive number, you know, in the positives, you want a negative number, as low as it gets is the better, and that creates, you know, a pretty good plus minus here at plus 20. Now everything here has also got video capability. The, stat, uh, the video is a bit more loosely connected because the stats are a bit more abstract. Obviously, you know, assist percentage will link to assist. Defense percentage will leave, uh, defensive rebounding will lead to defensive rebounding clips. But for things like effective field goal usage, offensive rating, things like that, will link to more abstract video like just, you know, shots and scoring and things like that. Then below that, we've also got advanced team stats. We've got points per position, pace, two to three point shooting ratio, percentage of points scored from two point shots, percentage of points scored from three point shots, um, the percentage of your shots that are contested, outcome percentage, which is what percentage of your positions ended in either an uncontested shot or an opposition foul, second chance points, so points off turnovers, sorry, points off offensive rebounds, that's a Freudian slip from the turnover points beside it, which is points off opposition turnovers, and then points per three point attempt, two-point attempt, and then field goal attempt. And again, everything in these two team rows down here also has video um, attached to it. So that's the box score. We've got basic stats, advanced stats, everything's got video capability. 
The next part of this output window is the position type. So if I select one of these two teams here, the Rams or the Nuggets, you'll see it goes red, but we've got stats for both teams underlined by the color representing the team. And it's broken down the game into eight positions. So there's some crossover, but the positions I've broken them down into are half court positions, transition positions, fast break, positions against man defense, positions against zone defense, and then these three at the end are pretty unique. Positions after opposition made shots, positions after opposition missed shots, and then posi positions after opposition turnovers. Now the reason I click this team on the y-axis is because you can actually break it down further. So you can actually click this half court and it'll break it into you know two-point shooting, three-point shooting, turnovers, foul drawn, and then points. And same if you know you've got the nuggets selected, you can select you know nuggets and then man, and it'll give you the breakdown of their man positions as well. I just want to go over to these after made, after missed, and after turnover positions because these are my favorite. Because you know, because you've got stats for both teams, it's a really good way to analyze your team's transition from offense to defense and vice versa. So after a missed shot, how well do you transition back into defense? You know, scrambling when they've got the rebound and the position might be a little bit faster paced. Say after an opposition made shot, you know, you're now versing a half court defense where the defense is set. So how well can you perform in that sort of um, game situation? So that's what I really like. See, these sort of um, position buttons here, they kind of analyze game states, the speed of games, defense help set the defenses, you know, your offensive proficiency, things like that. And these also have, you know, you can click it and you can see the two to three point shooting different ratios, turnover, um, number of turnovers, and then points. And again, no matter what team you have selected or what box you push here, no matter what toggle you have pressed up the top, everything here is linked to video. So again, I want to watch the two point shots after made shots for the opposition because I've got those toggles selected. I just have to click that and those clips will show up. So the final part of the output window is the shooting charts. Now this is the most involved part of the window with the most interactivity. So no matter what team you have selected here on the y-axis, so Rams or the Nuggets, or as well as any one of the players, their stats are going to show up on this location chart here per like efficiency and then a color matching that efficiency. So we've got you know left corners, the wings, the right corner, um, you know the paint, rim, elbows right and left post, things like that. So you've got all your different shooting locations. And again, everything here is tied to video. So I've got the Rams selected. I click this two or four on, for 50% on the left corner. Those four clips will show up. I've got the Nuggets selected. I want to watch all the Nuggets shots from you know the rim. I just have to click that and all those shots will show up. Now you'll see here by the extra, um, there's, sorry, under each location, there's this word that says extra. If I click that, more stats will pop up here to the right. So we've got points per attempt from that location. So the, uh, well, they didn't shoot very well from the left corner of the Nuggets, one of six, so 0 0.5 points per attempt. The frequency of that shot relative to other locations, percentage of points from that location, and the percentage of those shots that were contested. And again, everything here has video. Now below that, we've got two toggles. You see that we've got the shot type and the team action. I'm gonna click shot type. And it's going to basically pull through all this data regarding different shot types. So we've got catch and shoot, off the dribbles, um, here's your jumper, post up drive, hook shot, roll man, put back, break away, cut, float, and dump off, and then miscellaneous. Then on the x axis, we have like shot efficiency, we have points per attempt, the frequency of that shot type relative to other shot types, percentage of those points that came from that shot type, and then for the jump shooting stats, um, so the jump shooting shot types, we've got contested and uncontested splits. So the Rams here have a pretty normal split, you know, 3 of 10 for 30% on contested attempts, much better on uncontested attempts. However, what I really like about this contested and uncontested um, split, is it's a really good way to predict, you know, future shooting performance. So if you shoot, you know, 10 of 10 on contested attempts, at some point you're going to regress back to the mean. There have been plenty of times when I've been coding through a season where a team will shoot, you know, you know unexpectedly well from contested attempts. And then they'll basically just absolutely poop the bed the next game. Or vice versa, they'll go, you know, one of you know 20 for a catch and shoot three in one game, and then you know 15 of 20 in the next. So it's a good way to kind of analyze future shooting performance based on just you know regression back to the mean, either upwards or downwards. And again, everything here has video attached to it, no matter what team you've got selected, nuggets or the Rams, also players. So we've got one with a good lot of shot attempts, also give you all the video and all the stats for that one player. 
Now there's also interactivity between the shot type chart and the shot location chart. So I've got the RAM selected. Now if I select one of these shot types on the Y axis, it will uh, you know, now pull through that data to the shot location. So I just go catch and shoot three, and now all my catch and shoot three data is pulling through on the chart above. Or if I wanna look at all my off the dribble twos, I click that, and the nuggets off the dribble twos, so the RAM's off the dribble twos, are now pulling through to the shot location chart. And again, everything has video, so I've got RAMs and off the dribble two selected. So that's what I'll get on the shot chart up here. When I click either of these boxes, those clips will show up. Now the last thing I wanna point out about this output window is the team actions. So I've got shot type selected. However, when I click team action, we're gonna now go to, well, team actions. So I haven't filled any of these out. I've only got pick and roll up the top here as an example, but you could fill out all your team actions here and get the shot efficiency from those team actions, points per team action, the frequency you ran that action relative to the others, and the percentage of your points that came from that action. So it's a really good way to analyze, you know, what sets work, what sets don't. And, you know, obviously basketball coaches are very interested in this stuff. Who's, you know, what sets the most efficient, what's the most per attempt, things like that. And again, because this chart here is linked with the chart above, if I click this pick and roll, it's gonna show me where those shots occurred. So all our pick and roll shots occurred in the middle of the court. It can be like, well, we should, you know, kick it out to more three point shooters. That's maybe why our pick and roll is not as good or could be better, et cetera, et cetera. And again, everything here has video capability. So if I can click this, you know, oh, I accidentally unclicked team action. So if I click unclick this, um, sorry, if I do click this pick and roll button here, all six of those pick and roll positions for the Canterbury Rams will show up. Same if I've got Nuggets selected, all 18 of their pick and roll actions now will show up when I click this box. Now that's my output window. That's a lot of information obviously, but as I said at the very start, you can capture all this information basically, you know, at the time of game, maybe it'll take you a few minutes to catch up after the final whistle, but you should be finished maybe 10 minutes after that. And you can get all this data for every single game. I didn't even talk about, you know, the you know, uh, quarter breakdown down the bottom here. And also there's lots of little hidden features around these output windows that can give you even more information if you look for it. So we've got the box score, basic and advanced stats. We've got the position type breakdown into eight different position types with full video capability and further breakdown when you click something on the X axis. And then the shot location chart, the shot type chart, the team action chart, and the interactivity between the two for both teams and players. If you have any questions about this output window, my, link, uh, my social links are in the description below, including my email, and I'd be happy to talk to you. Other than that, thanks for watching and have a good day.